truck driver that should be here any moment. And when he comes, I'll have to kind of bug off and help him unload a truck. So, um, uh, so just bear with me with that. Yeah, hang on here, please. Um, somebody's emailed me, and I forget where they live, but their business has a truck driver that comes here to Defiance. And she's been wanting to donate some cat litter. And um, so she sent some cat litter on the truck, and the driver's supposed to deliver it to us. So that way she could get us something heavy and then they have to pay for any of the shipping. So I thought that was pretty cool. Why? Why? I haven't committed to the storage room yet. Um, well, let me do the boxes and then how about we go over all the notes and stuff. Yay, Nuki. Okay, we got a we got a category. Um, we've only got a few um envelopes. Uh oh. Yep, there's a few inside there. So we'll get started. This one's from Amazon and I did match up one of the boxes here with an email I had, but if uh I always I love it if all of them came with names, but we know that not all of them the companies don't always put their names on them. Oh, this is really, really nice. <laughs> uh, this is really, really nice. Can I see a white piece of paper? Ugh. Maybe. There we go. Oh, and it doesn't have a name on it. Stop on it. It's it's from Amazon, so maybe um, maybe you guys will tell us. It's a case of the classic Fancy Feast. They like that one. That's the seafood one. And this is one of their favorite kind of balls. These are the Mylar. Oh, I think I hear maybe the top. These are the Mylar ball, balls. They crinkle, which is why they like it. But the one thing we found out about these is that we have a few cats that like to tip balls in the water buckets, water bowls, and they change these leak out their color. So we always laugh about that. And bonito flakes, which you guys all know how crazy they are on these. These, these are the, the kitties just love them. I've been giving them to to them a couple times a day. And check this out. This is really, really nice also. Two bowl, two uh, containers of the Era HE laundry soap. And you know we go through a whole bunches of bunches of laundry soap. Is that from oh this is Cat Guy Forever. This is right. This is the one that we were yeah. You know what, this actually was here last night, and this one, this box got stuck behind the bench. So afterwards, I discovered it when Cat, cat Guy, I think Cat Guy, yeah, Cat Guy asked me about it. It's like, uh-oh, and then I saw it. Thank you, Cat Guy. These are all, all of these are um, very much things that we can use. The laundry soap, we never get enough of. And of course, you know they like to eat, and they love to play, and they love to snack on the bonito flakes. I really got to get some for mine. Which one? The, the bonito. bonito flakes. Yeah, I really got to get those. I wonder if that was Stacy leaving. Maybe not the truck driver. So thanks, thank you, cat. Cat die forever. I like that name. Um. These two, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I looked behind the box or the bench, and I'm really sorry that I missed that last night. Thank you so much. Somebody asked me the other day which of the Fancy Feast flavors the kitties like the best, and it's whatever. They love them all. The Fancy Feast, they, they, there's, there's not very many of them that turn, turn it down. Oh, 
Piercy was going to take the ball, and one of the kittens took it. There you go, Mercy. Mercy says, I know what those do. They have fun with those. They they make that noise, and I think it coaxes them on to um, play with them. These two, I think, is from Jill R. 27, I believe, I believe. I think, I think. And this is from Amazon. Let's see if this matches up. I, yep, I think this is from Jill R. Jill R. 27. And there is, oh, this, this cracks me up. Oh my gosh. Isn't that weird? That? This is the second one we've gotten where the baby food is packed like this. Check this out. Nice. Feel it. I wonder how they put that packing on. Blow it in. Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Huh? Oh, it's got an insert. Hey, that is pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, yeah, and they don't break. You know, actually, all the baby food that we've gotten from you webcam friends, um, I think we've only ever had one jar that has come up um, cracked. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good, but these would never crack with that kind of wrapping on it. Yeah, and that's um, the Gerber chicken, which, you know, Bella gets one. I always found the white came out here. Bella for a baby food jar. She probably knew. Well, hey, baby food. In the morning, Bella, you know, Bella always has to have her, her jar of baby food. And uh, Kira is her breakfast buddy, I always say. And uh, Kira likes. Just a fingerful. I just dip my finger in and and give her some. And uh, Akira expects it every single morning, as does as does Bella. You know what? I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's a good thing those baby food jars were packed like that. Cause look at the box. The babe, what's sticking out here is baby food. And oh wow. If it wasn't wrapped like that, I'm going to bet that that would have been broke. Yeah, this has to be from Jill R. Look at this, another one. Wow, this will replenish. Uh, that's kind of fun. Look at that. I don't know how many. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Yeah, there's a there's an air pack, a pump. Boy, that's got to be kind of costly wrapping, I would think. But happy people if they don't if they don't break. <laughs> I think I got a blast of a blast of air in my face on that one. <laughs> so this this is from the diaper company. I would say that they would get an A-plus in, in uh, packaging. So that's one, two, three. Oh, this will, this will be awesome. Four. These are all chicken. I think Bella's favorite is probably chicken. Putter, Putter likes beef. Chicken Putter. Putter what? Get out because I don't care. Oh, do you want to feed him where he's at? He won't wake up. Wow. Is he over there where the freezer was? Yeah. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cases. Thanks, Jill. Thanks, Jillar. This is really wonderful. This will make our baby food shelf look really good. Isn't that funny? I'll let myself run out of milk and cereal and food in the house just because I don't take the time to go get some shopping done, but you can't let the kitties run out of food. Who were you shopping?
shop before when I saw you. Uh, I was doing my mom's shopping. Ah. Yeah. Thank you, Jill R. Jill, is Jill R on there? Mm -hmm. Well, that was that was a really cool one too. This is for Sarah. And I'll put these here. Do my GX go out the back? You wanna throw a couple of those out? If, if you go, if not, we'll get them. Um. So, oh, you're waking up, aren't ya? Siri's impatience is pinned. She's starting to look at me. Oh, there she squinted her eyes shut again. She's a tired girl. She uh, was done late this afternoon. So she's she's still pretty groggy. I'll tell you what happened to her while, when we get done here, too. So um, Cat Guy Forever and Jill R., thank you so much. This is a cute little box. I'm not sure on the return it just has a bunch of numbers it's a oh it's from from lamp in utah and yuki if you could put he has a donation in here also it says dear jackie and friends of felines here are some fuel boxes for your kitties I got them for free at my local pharmacy. They asked why I wanted so many, so I told them about FFRC. They were happy to give them to them to you. Hopefully, they now watch the webcam. And here is a little money for meds. I own a long-haired striped fluffy dude. I rescued him from my next-door neighbors 13 years ago. They threw him out because he went outside one day, and when he came back, they aw, they, they started sneezing. So they decided they were allergic to cats. They had him inside for two weeks, and he says, stupid people. Yeah. The temp that night was to get down to minus five, and I could hear him crying to get in from about 40 feet away. So I stole him, went to the store, and got food. He was just a double handful, about 10 weeks old. They put him out in that cold of weather. He's been my best friend since. I give him good head scratches. He even watches FFRC with me sometimes. I've always had cats up to 17 and, oh gosh, up, up to 17. Three mamas popped at one time. Oh my goodness. I want to thank you and the volunteers for all the hard work for the kitties. And I thank the chatters for the hu human contact. I am handicapped and don't so much more than read and listen to music and watch TV. So thank you all for your kindness. See, you, you chatters are part of the reason why our numbers are so wonderful is because you always welcome people and and help them. I get lots of emails from people who um, tell me that they're new and that they've been made to feel welcome and it's just really nice. It just makes me very proud of, of our website. And this is from Lance and he says that he has a power dam road in um, in, uh, well, he lives in Utah. Oh, in Moab. Moab, Utah. It's M-O-A-B. Thank you, Lance. I hope you're watching. And, yeah, look at this. This is full of uh, pill boxes. And I think what I'm going to do is use these for, this would be really good for, um, like right now, Ferris medicine. And I've got two other cats on antibiotics. And I know if I put tape on it on the bottom or on the side, I'll be able to keep track and make sure that I give their meds when I'm supposed to. Are you okay? So thank you, Lance. That's a really, really good idea. And thank you for your donation also. And I'm going to put that there so I don't lose it. Stick that in my pocket so it doesn't get thrown out. And we have one more box. Another cute little box. This is from Montpelier, Ohio, which is just a few towns away. Please press firmly. Oh, I see. We're going to unpress. Oh. 
Love these letters. Dear Jackie, here are a few valentines for some of the babies. The new floor looks beautiful on the cam. Thanks for all your hard work. Liz and Eric W. Liz and Eric W. Look at these. Oh my goodness, these are beautiful valentines. Happy Valentine's Day to Amos. Oh, my Amos and his inside friends. That's, these are for my kitties inside. Look at that. It's, isn't that cool? You can tell there's layers on that. Thank you. I'm going to put this one inside with for my kitty. Look at this. Isn't that neat? It says, Happy Valentine's Day, Diffie. Aw, Diffie's got one. And um, Liz and Eric W. is Speedy. Let me make sure I have it right. Speedy Mimi, I think is what it is. And this one's for Taurine. Can you see? Yeah, it goes this way. Isn't that cool? Piggy today was saying how much she enjoyed all the cards, and she especially loves the homemade cards. So this is Diffie and Turing. I'll put these up on the, the wall of cards, and I'm going to take um, my Amos boy and his friends inside that one. Thank you. Eric and Liz, that's really, really nice of you. Hi, Judy. Hello. Thank you. Did you see these? Look at this. Oh, my. That is so pretty. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? It's so... Oh, I have no artistic yeah. ability in oh. me. I don't have any ability for that kind of thing. I don't have any. Yeah, do you want to hang these up on the wall? Okay. Um, with, the, with the big tape? Yeah, that would be cool. That would be really nice. Then I have some things to tell you. And some things, something to show you. I'll get your curiosity up. Something new. I need that. I need that. This, oh, this is from Cheryl L. from Sacramento, California. And this came today. So I, I'm not really too far behind now. This is to Peggy, and I told Peggy that I thought there were some more cards coming, so I'm just continuing to collect them. And there's one from my mom. I can't wait for that. She's going to have so much fun. And one for FFRC. Oh. Oh. Is that cool? No. <laughs> Everybody, a lot of them. Check this out. This is really cool. What what our computers can do. It says Happy Valentine's Day, Friends of Feline's Rescue Center. But I try not to make it blurry. Can you see lots of the names? Isn't that cool? And then inside it says, I wanted to wish all the kitties at FFRC a very special Valentine's Day. I enjoy coming home from work and being able to sit down and relax with the kitties. The volunteers are excellent uh, at their jobs and with the web viewers, web cameras. They are always there to answer any question we have for them and to show us the kitties we want to see. Oh, listen to this one too. The mods on the web are also the best. The web cameras are great too. Thank you all and have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And this is from Cheryl L. And her webcam name is Calogan, C A L O G A N. That is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's very cool. We'll put that up on the Hall, hall of Cards also. Thank you. This is Kitty Secrets, too. Yeah, 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 there's a variety of everybody on there. This is Ruth Ann D. from Colorado. Wow, we got some more cards. 
I, it won't stay. The doors are really good. Here's one for my mom. And here's one for Peggy. And I'll make sure they Peggy get that. And this one is for Greg. And I will put that up here. I've got some others here, too, for some of the other people. And I'll make sure that they get those. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's from our our Ruth Ann D friend from Colorado. Now I have to switch here. Now if we see Georgia, this is for Georgia. This is for Georgia from oops, I think I know. <laughs> yeah, this is from Michelin. <laughs> Check this one out. This is cool. See the feathers in the kitty's mouth? It says, uh, there you go, stealing hearts again, especially mine. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone at FFRC. A special hug and kiss to Georgia, a very special cat. And this is from Michelin and Indian Cheddar, her two kitties. That is really pretty. It's got some hearts and um, lace on that. I think Judy was looking for um, Georgia. If you see Georgia cat, can Which you let it know? Black and white with a big black chin. Oh, okay. And this one looks like it's from Atlanta, uh, Georgia. Oh, oh, this is very nice. This is in memory of Sesame and Aprilla. A contribution has been made to FFRC with much love and sympathy from Gloria C. This Georgia or Octavia? That's Octavia. So that's Georgia. Thank you. Thank you, Gloria. I appreciate that very much. Two really missed, really missed kitty cats. You guys will all see me put checks in my back pocket a lot, and that's only because I don't want to accidentally throw anything away. And trust me, before I get done with the night, I go through and I empty my pockets. I record every single check and make a copy of every single check. Here's Georgia. You want to show them Georgia? She was just sleeping. There's Georgia. You got a Valentine's Day, girl. Check this out. She says, look at it. Did you see that? She says, oh, I'm all embarrassed. George. George is a nice kitty. She knows. She was sleeping, was she and then she wanted to play with my hand. She's a good girl. In a nice way. You know, not by any fragments. This one is from Kelly F. from Plano, Texas. Kelly, I know where that is. You do? I have friends that live there. You do? Plano, P-L-A-N-O. John Reese lives there. He does? Yeah. Look at this. She's got a good cup. And she's tipping over. Oh, oh yes, that's uh, Sarah. You don't have your lady oh. up to you. There you go. But she's got a potty, and by golly, she's going to get in the box. Is this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was done really late. So this is from Kelly F. Oh. Aren't, isn't that a beautiful card? Oh, uh, thank you for the wonderful work you do. You are all angels. Uh, and Nuki, if you could put that Kelly made a donation to FFRC, I would appreciate that. Okay. Thank you, Kelly. Find another patty. Um, Judy, Got can you? you? I'll just we can take that one up there too, even though it's not Valentine's Day. So I was saying, um. I, uh, every single check and every single penny that comes in here is recorded in our book. And then I, I make copies of, of everything to keep track of everything. <laughs> this says on the back, kitties rock, dogs too. This is from Steve and Debbie B. from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. And it's for all the kitties at FFRC. Oh, Sarah's a little wobbly She's there. very wobbly. She's very wobbly. Oh, Here's a kitty looking for trouble. Trying to find a... What's the day Addie was not the... Uh-oh, we're going to take...
tell Judy on you. This says, Dear FFRC Kitties, here is an option for the new floor. Oh, I think paw prints, <laughs> because of the front cover, would be would be would look nice. Maybe it can maybe we can snuggle some or smuggle some paint on one evening and you could surprise Jackie. Oh, you kitties better not. Please don't tell Jackie it was my idea. A special hello and hug to Twinkle. We love you. Happy Valentine's Day to all the kitties at FFRC, including the Sun Porch, Kitty City residents, and those passing through on their way to Forever Homes. Steve and Debbie B. and webcam viewers from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. You know, I this reminds me um, on on a cat I had, Steve and Debbie. I had a I had a big white cat, and we were we were painting my daughter's first house. And we got up to go look out the window at something and came back and he had knocked over the paint and had stepped in it, of course, and it was everywhere. Hey, Judy. Oh, we got Patty's got a tiny little mat. We don't do mats here, so Judy's going to work on it. This is uh, from, Elen from Linda S. from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And this is for Tweeny. Tweeny's in her pen sleeping. And when we get, when we do this one, we'll take this on her pen. Look at this. We had a card like this before and I think that cat is absolutely gorgeous. It says, Hi Tweeny. And yep, and this is from Linda S and oh her cam name is MLS9690. MLS9690. I know you haven't been feeling good the last couple of days, so I hope this card will make you purr. Just think next month you will be in your forever home. I am so excited for you. I know your new mommy loves you very much and can't wait to bring you home. I will miss seeing you when you leave FFRC. I hope you. I hope we will get updates on how you are doing in Colorado. I am wishing you only the best in your new home. You really are a sweet kitty, Tweeny. Happy Valentine's Day to you, and I hope you are feeling better soon. Love, Linda. Aw, that's going very, very Colorado? nice. Tweeny's going to Colorado. Mm-hmm. Quite goodness. Cats sure are getting around. Yeah, we have one going this weekend to uh, Minnesota. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Tweeny, there's your, there's your card. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's not. I, I don't. Okay, good. And last but not least. This is from this is from Queen Bella, and this is also from Steve and Debbie B. from Kentucky. There you go, pretty boy. You're all perfect now. Oh, oh. look at this for a moment. Oh, it looks like her. Yeah. <laughs> and she has a hat. Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. Queen Bella. And instead of a crown, she's got her purple hat. You know, just in case. There's Bella. There's Bella. I'm going to show them Bella closer. Just in case you haven't seen her crown, this is the crown that um, was on Facebook. And Bella told me she loves it. <laughs> Your eyes are all poking. Can they see you okay? There. Look at that. Whoops, here. That was a pretty good picture there, Bella. Um, what you doing, Yeah, Sarah? Queen Bella. Kind of looks you like her, doesn't it? It does. Uh -huh. Oh, Wait, Bella, you're such a good sport. We love you. It says, Dear Queen Bella, Well, I knew you were royalty. I didn't realize you had an 
Arista, oh, Arista Cat Sister, photo on the front. You are such a sweetheart. I saw you on the webcam the morning of the move back into the center, eating your baby food out of the jar using your paw. I also saw you the night before the move running through the center, being chased by one of the patties. Uh-oh. You are fast. We love you, your sweetness and all of your antics. You are the perfect feline friend. Your webcam viewer friend, Stephen Debbie B. from, from Kentucky. Isn't that nice? That's very, very nice. Yeah, Queen Mom. I like that. Oops. Okay. Well, I've got somebody at the back door I have to take care of. So, and then, but I would like to give you an update on a few things when I get back. Um, so if you can give me a few minutes, um, I'd like to take care of the door, and then we'll do our update. We had a few updates. Um, we did take um, a tweenie in for an x-ray today. She, I had left her in one of the rooms, one of the rescue rooms, and she was walking around and she was putting full weight on it. And then she wanted to play a little rougher, and sure enough, the paw came up again. So we were already taking Siri up to get her dental done, so we went ahead and and uh, added an extra one in. And so they took, so we took Tweenie up for her X-ray. And uh, they did clear her to all to the bottom of her toes, and everything's fine. Her bone is good, bones good, the muscles are good, the um, uh, the the joints are good, and because she's only nine or ten months old, her growth plates aren't all the all the way together. Although they will be soon, but the growth plates also look good. So she just has a tenderness, and it's like what we suspected was right in here a little bit. And the vets just want us to keep her in maybe tonight yet, and maybe tomorrow she can come out some. But it's just going to take time um, for that to finish healing all the way. And we'll continue on the meds that we've had her on. That's what um, we're just going to keep on doing what we did, but at least we know 100% that, that there's no fracture. We, we were 99.9% .9 sure that there wasn't a fracture. And then Siri went up also. She was the last surgery of, their de of the day. Um, she's really stumbly bumbly yet. Very, very uh, stumbly bumbly yet. Uh, she was the last one, like I said. They just had a really long surgery date. Steve went up and got both of the kitties and brought them home for us. But uh, she had a stool sample done. We just went ahead and did one. She, sometimes she has a little loose stool. So her stool was negative. Um, two of her top incisors on the sides of where the canines are, both of those were pulled. Not the canines, but the little incisors. And then um, lower left molar was removed, and the upper right molar was removed. So two big teeth and two little teeth, and all the dental tartar was removed. So she's doing fine. Um, so she's doing good. Um, she'll just need to recuperate yet tonight. Uh, and remember, she's she's a little older cat, so it may take her, you know, a few extra hours to recover. She's sitting up right now, so that's good. So that's Tweenie and uh, Siri. We got a new cat in. Uh, was that this morning? I think that was this morning. And isn't it Kitty Cam? That's good at uh, IDing the certain colors of rag dolls. I think it was Kitty Kim. I'm not sure if she's on right now or not. But this cat, I'm just sure as the world is a kit is a is a uh, rag doll. Uh, the yeah, Kitty Cam. Maybe was that you that that uh, helped me with some of the other with some of the other uh, rag dolls. I'll go get him. He was found outside. He was very dirty. He was very hungry. And uh, he had lots of fleas on him. I just gave him a bath a little bit ago, so she, he's, he is still a little bit dirty. And uh, I will go get him and show him to you. He's very cute. I 
I just gave us more food too. Okay, right? cool. Oh man. a real young adult. We're going to put him down. Look, he's blue and purple. Oh, there is a head. Check out these blue eyes. He's about as blue eyes as what you can get. I don't know. I don't know. So here's, I'm going to drop this down. I don't want him to get chilled. He's still not 100% dry. But, um, Boy, with my, here, let me put this up because my white shirt with him doesn't help. There, that <laughs> might, that might help a little. He's got the white muff here and some of that um, brownish color here, darker tail. They're kind, it's kind of like a lavender tip ears and then the, you know, on the <coughs> temple. Yeah, it's there. Is that a little bit better? It's still pretty bright. Kitty cam, blue or lilac? That's what. Yeah, yeah, lilac. Yeah, that's what. Where's PP? I'm not sure, Kitty Cam. I think it. I I agree. I think it's either a blue or the lilac. We we'll have to see when when he's dry all the way. But I would I would kind of think so too. Isn't he beautiful? I think a lilac pantry. Yeah, he's a nice boy. Got all the fleas off of him. We think he's had his uh, first warmer, his first cap star. Yeah, there is a cream blue. You're right. Um, he's very pretty. Oh, say, what's going on? No, you can't stay here. You get to go back in Thumper's room. So he's in Thumper's room in the big, big silver pen. Yeah. All right, well, we'll take him back. We'll give you updates later. He's had his first distemper vaccine as well. I'll take him back. Will you? He doesn't need this blankie, but we could wash that. This is... Okay. I don't think that was in this pen. Okay. Was it up on the counter? Uh, I think it was on the shelf. Yeah, the shelf. Yeah, it was in this pen. Okay. I washed my hands, so. I had to take off the kitty hair. Okay. Hey. Hi, Kitty Ariel. Hey, Judy. Yes. And then maybe you can help me with that. Yeah. You want these cards here? Oh. Can you clean? Yeah. Bottom left is smudgy. Yep. I even have the cleaners right here to do it. He is neutered and he is declawed as well in the front, not the back. Asha, she has changed her position. There, you get a face wipe. Did you say lower left? Side, I'll get better. Since we moved, had our big move, she's decided she likes the front office area. There, how's that? Got your faces all washed. Is that pretty good? No, no. Um, the lady who brought that kitty in checked 
the whole neighborhood. And uh, she knew some people who had some long hair kitties, even went and checked that. And uh, nobody, nobody wanted to claim it, at least. Bandita, Bonita, oh, you are right, Nick, Nick Ross, yeah. It's Bandita, Bandita. Will they start the storage room? Well, um, well I think I'm committed. You know, I also thought of that, too, um, Kitty Cam, if maybe it might be a Turkish fan. The reason that I said a rag doll was because she said she knew some people down the road that bred rag dolls. And so, you know, I wasn't sure if they left it out and didn't want it. <laughs> I see that, Hummer. <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, whoops. Uh, it doesn't have a microchip. Yeah. <laughs> By Boy Boyka, is it? Night. <laughs> Charlie, you guys are are funny. That's a pretty good name, though. We've had a lilac. And remember, it's a boy. Nope, I'm going to get pair of her men. Um, you know, I think we're going to change something on the storage storage room. I've had a whole bunch of people telling me, 8 by 12, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. Um, that we need to go a little bit bigger. And I, I have to agree with that. And it's not very much more. We can make it 8 by 16. And that's what we're going to do. We have to keep it 8 feet so it's in a line. Um, the, it aligns up with the uh, office. So, yeah, I think it's a good idea. I've had a lot of people keep bugging me. Oh, not bugging me. I didn't mean that. I mean, suggesting to me that that we should do that. Yeah, 8 by 12. So we'll go 8 by 16. Shep. Oh, Anna Marie. Hey, that's, I like that. I like that. Shep is a really good name for a kitty. Um, yeah, he's very beautiful. Yeah, it's very pretty. We'll we'll leave them in there for a few days. Make sure that everything is is good on them. There we go. And not big enough. <laughs> Did you guys get enough to eat? Okay, Titan. Um, just so you know, I just read your PM, and we'll I'll get on that tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Shep would be a good kitty's name, too. Could paper in it? Oh. Let me go check. Well, there was one. There was a paper in it. we got to get a curve of mess. Uh, oops, I'm sorry, Judy. I you did? Yes. Here's the two papers from the diaper. I wonder why they call it diaper.com. Um, but there's no like personal message or anything on it. Yeah, it's got that we've we got seven seven cases. Um three turkey, three chicken, and another chicken. So we had a Valentino. Big from M from MLS. Okay. Oh, this diaper is it. Okay. Sherry said that cutie needs her nails clipped. Okay, I thought we did those last week. So, okay, so as long as Nuki's got who came with what would be um, would be good. Oh, the the litter litter delivery. Okay, I've been waiting. I was wondering. I hope everything was okay. All right. Well, I've got to get something done and. Uh, in uh, Thumper's room, so I better do that before the litter comes. That Venus, Venus would be a cool name too. Okay, let's give you. Wait a minute. Um, Sarah did have her after her e her evening mess. She had her mess tonight. She did, yes. So you want to help me? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Get the girls here, boys. Let's go. 
Pill boxes are a great idea. Pine at home, the one doesn't open very far, and yeah. the other one opens too easy. Mm -hmm. Every now and then, I find out my pills are getting in my pocket. Are they the single ones like yeah. that? No, two ones. Only three. Only three. Do you want to take it? Oh, she's got one. Well, let's see. Why 